Let's start. I saw a trading strategy on YouTube, which was proposed by a big YouTuber whose content is related to the stock market, and he has millions of followers. He claimed that the strategy works wonders. I decided to code the strategy in the TradingView Pine script and see it for myself. First, let's understand what the strategy is about. Here we have two exponential moving averages of lengths 5 and 7. The green one is the 5 moving average and the red one is the 7 moving average. Also, there is an indicator called Williams percentage R. The length of this indicator is set to 14. The upper band of this indicator is set to minus 40 and the lower band is set to minus 50. So once this setup is done, we are supposed to take a long entry when the green moving average is above the red moving average. The price has to be above both the moving averages obviously. And the Williams R line, which is this purple color line, has to be above the minus 40 level. So the long entry would be here somewhere near these candles. Similarly, for a short trade, the green moving average should be below the red moving average. The price has to be below both the moving averages obviously. And the Williams R line has to be below the minus 50 level. So the short entry would be here somewhere near these candles. So once this idea was clear, I coded the strategy in the Pine script, and I could see such trades. Here you can see that, the green moving average is above the red moving average. The price is above both moving averages. And the Williams R line is above the minus 40 level. So here we got a long entry as expected. Similarly, here you can see that, the green moving average is below the red moving average. The price is below both moving averages. And the Williams R line is below the minus 50 level. So here we got a short entry as expected. Now it's time to check the result of this strategy on various stocks and various time frames. So right now I am on Nifty Index script, and on the 1 minute chart. Here we have 483 trades, with a winning rate of just around 33%. In the 15 minute time frame, the winning rate is slightly better, at 35%. In the 1 hour time frame, the winning rate is slightly better than the previous, 38%. On the daily time frame, the winning rate is almost the same, 38%. On the weekly time frame, the winning rate is the best by far, 46%. Let's see another stock. Right now I am on the Bitcoin 1 minute time frame. The winning rate is around 35%, with 743 trades. In the 15 minute time frame, the strategy is making losing money. In the 1 hour time frame, the strategy is making a little profit. Almost the same result is on the daily time frame. On monthly time frame, the results are slightly better. Let's see a currency pair. Right now I am on the USDGBP currency pair chart of a 1 minute time frame. The strategy is losing money here. On 15 minutes time frame, the winning rate is 31%. Not good. On 1 hour time frame, the strategy is losing money. On the daily time frame, the results are average. 34%. On the monthly time frame, the result is slightly better. So even though the famous YouTuber claims this strategy makes wonders on the chart, I find it below average. What do you guys think? New traders and gullible people fall prey to such bogus strategies and lose money, and then they blame the stock market itself. My motive is not to mock any YouTuber or trader, but, is to make fellow traders aware of bad strategies which are promoted by famous people. See you soon with more such strategies. Thanks for watching.